Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Kovac Enterprises. Uh, we are doing the 4x4 pickup truck Nissan Hardbody from AMT. Uh, this is going to be episode number one, and as always, we are starting per the instructions on steps one and two uh, for assembling the engine. Uh, and as you can see in front of you, we have the paint that we used to detail out the engine once it was assembled. Uh, <clears throat> kind of use my pointer here for you. I started off basically with the uh, gray for a primer uh, for Craftsmart acrylic and hand painted that on first. And then as far as the engine itself, I went with the rest with metallic uh, paint. Uh, this one is actually folk art. It's a sequin black. It's number 661. Six, six, uh, so I use that for, like I said, the, the black of the engine next. And as far as the transmission on the back side, uh, we went ahead and used the Folk Art Metallic Silver Sterling, which is number 662. And uh, once that was all dried and ready to go, I basically uh, um, kind of hand brushed over or dry brushed uh, with the Folk Art Gunmetal Gray just to give it some little highlights. And, uh, and then, of course, like the filter or the oil, the oil filter, I guess you want to call it, uh, I used the Grass Craft Smart uh, Gloss White uh, and applied that. And then just to kind of give it some highlight off of the sequin black on the engine block, uh, I used the Sharpie permanent marker bronze metallic. So <clears throat> basically that was it for that. Let's bring the kind of engine in a little bit closer so you can see the results. So there you go. And of course we have the chrome that was attached as well. And let's kind of bring this to the other side so you can see what it looks like here. It's a little bit of some touch up uh, on some of the chrome, but we can take care of that for you. Okay. So with that being said, uh, we'll kind of put that back here. <clears throat> uh, next up, uh, we will be showing you some of the interior bucket and uh, so stand by on that and we'll be right back and we're back and as I stated uh, earlier uh, my next step was going to be uh, assembling the interior bucket now if you look at the instructions here uh, you can see that I actually skipped a step which was step number three uh, and went right to step number four, which basically uh, is assembling the entire components for the interior bucket. Uh, so that's the next step that I took on that right there. Uh, so here we are. <clears throat> and these are some of the paints that I used, as you can see here in the background, to detail out the uh, interior bucket uh, uh, once I uh, assembled it and glued everything together. Uh, which consisted of uh, using Apple Barrel uh, Country Gray acrylic paint. Um, again, back with the Craftsmart Black Satin Acrylic. I then uh, also used, uh, back to the Folk Art Sterling Silver, uh, some Gunmetal Gray from Folk Art, and uh, the Plain Gray Craftsmart Acrylic Paint as my primer and uh, my goal was to basically use different various shades of gray uh, for the interior bucket because that's what reminded me as far as my uh, Nissan hard body truck interior uh, when I bought it back in the 80s so because the instructions basically uh, tell you to use uh, burgundy and and uh, some black colors for for the uh, for the interior bucket itself, but uh, uh, this is reminiscent of my truck. So basically you can see it's all completed here. 
and uh, let me kind of bring the light in a little bit over here for you so I kind of kind of just give you like a little quick see through here doing a little 360 so that's the kind of the front view here I did uh, manage to use one of the cartograph uh, decals I know it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera but uh, I cut out the instrument panel in this case uh, I did apply some future uh, on the bare plastic uh, interior part of the instrument where the instrument panel was going to be laid down uh, and then I went ahead and cut it out and applied the decal once I had pretty much everything painted up and ready to go and then I applied another uh, brushed on stroke of some future to kind of hold it in place but uh, so this is the basically the turnout of what it looked like here as you can see I uh, as far as the uh, seat pasture seats here this is basically the plain gray color from Craftsmart and then uh, uh, like I said I just use various tones of, of gray to uh, uh, kind of break it up a little bit and give it some uh, pop to it uh, and I'll basically uh, go ahead and show you some close-up pictures uh, at the end of the uh, and the, the end of video here. So, okay, so there we go. So that's where we're at right now for the moment on this uh, project for episode number one. Uh, we will. Uh, move forward from this point on and uh, with that being said uh, we will catch you on the next uh, video and uh, hope everybody has a good day and we'll catch you later bye